Allah Azza wa Jalla in the Holy Quran Alim al-Shan Whoever protects himself is ego from the shuh of, his, of himself has won What is meant by shuh is extreme stinginess Because the ego, the nafs wants it this comes from lack of faith. What we mean by shuh is stinginess, mazuliness. These are bad things. The ego wants neither to give sadaqah nor to help, nor to obey Allah. Our Holy Prophet again states in a hadith sharif, to avoid this thing called shuh because it orders stinginess it orders stinginess and those people who came before you have been ruined because of this disease it ordered them stinginess and they became miserly, they became stingy. Then they started not helping others. Again, it ordered this and they did not help others. They also did not visit their relatives. It ordered them not to visit their relatives. So all these evils come out of stinginess. Shuh is the extreme stinginess. Every evil comes from it. It is the same in this world where people, because of it, make wars and fights. And because of it, they kill each other and they do not do good to each other. These are the biggest, one of the biggest tools of shaitan and the thing that the ego, nafs, loves most. Son of man, whether Muslim or not, should leave it. But of course, those who are non-Muslim, they say, this is mine, I'm not going to help anybody. And even if they look like they're helping others, the non-Muslims have become a nuisance to the whole world. And there's this group who say that they are helping people, they're helping this country, but they're ruining it. They're either ruining it directly or worse in an unseen way, saying that they're doing good. They judge people, they make judgments, whereas they are the ones who are sinking in Filth. They are lying in a pit of filth and they say to you, you have such and such dirt on you and try to give you lessons, thinking that they are doing good. But what they are doing is, even if they do one good, Allah forbid, a thousand evil comes out of that good. We should not be deceived by them. We should not believe them. Those who believe them are idiots. They are mindless ones. So if a bad person does something for you, a person should think 
it certainly has something behind it. What is his intention? If they have repented again, a person should think, I wonder what will come after this. What we are saying, or we are talking about these things, these people, they do not want any goodness for Islam and Muslims. Islam is their biggest enemy. They are the friends of shaitan. They are with shaitan. And they will never be friends with Islam and Muslims. May Allah protect us from their evils. But it's the end of times now. And their tricks will turn back to them. Just as our Holy Prophet وسلم, states in a Hadith Sharif, this extreme greed and ambition makes people do all kinds of evil, all evil. And because of his greed, son of man, humans fall into that error. A Muslim should not fall into this error. Our Holy Prophet وسلم, tells us to be careful to leave this bad habit because it has no benefit but it has harm. May Allah protect us. It would ruin a person. And other than the ruin in this world, if a person is ruined in the hereafter, then it's really bad for them. May Allah protect us. May Allah protect us from the evils of our ego and from our bad habits. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الذين يبايعونك إنما يبايعون الله يد الله فوق أيديهم فمن نكث فإنما ينكث على نفسه ومن أوفى بما عاهد عليه الله فسيؤتيه أجرا عظيما رضينا بالله ربنا وبالإسلام دينا وبسيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم نبيا لنا ورسوله سيدنا شيخ الله فازد حسان شيخ محمد ناظم حقاني شيخا لنا ومرشدا والله على ما نقول وكيل الله 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 حق الله 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 حق الله 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 حق حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل نعم المولى ونعم النصير وفرانك ربنا وليك المصير الفاتحه